Hello everyone and welcome back to part 8 of the bunny tutorial, the final part. After weeks of drawing this together it's now nearly finished. So yes, as always everything that you need to know is listed down below, the coloured pencils that we'll use and if you're just joining me now and you want to start from the beginning I'll link part 1 as well so that you can draw this with me. But for now let's just get started and finish off this drawing. Right, so first things first, I'm just going to give it a bit of a tidy up so that I don't get any like smudging or anything. Just tidying it up with the eraser. Okay, and then I'm going to use a base colour of Buff Titanium. I'm just going to carry on with it because I think ivory might be a bit too yellow and I want to just stick with the sort of colours that we've already used. So yeah, I'm going to use the buff titanium and I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. I won't do too much, I'll see what it looks like with a little bit of grass to begin with and then we'll go from there and add more if need be. So I'm sort of just bringing it down to meet that like bottom bit there. And I'll do a little bit here. Like I said, I don't want to do too much too soon, so I'll just leave it about there for now. And get here a little bit. And I'm just going to do some little grass pieces here just sort of like sticking up and just here and do some little bits here Now I'm going to start using earth green yellowish to start adding some little grass strands. So I'm going to draw it similarly to how I draw fur and just start doing some little like little strands with it. There is like a little bit of grass that comes up there so I could always just use a Tombow razor to make a little gap for that grass to go in. It just looks a little bit more realistic if there are pieces sat on top. So I'll carry on with that earth green yellowish. Just bring that up there a little bit. And then I'm just going to try my best to follow the direction of the little pieces of grass and just start mapping in the little strands. As always, I'm not going to be like too... Spend too much time trying to get them absolutely in the right place. As long as they're in the general direction. Like there's lots of little sideways pieces. They all kind of like overlap. And I'm not pressing too hard. <sighs> I 
kind of drawing the pieces that I can see the most clearly on the picture and then fill in the little gaps in between. So here there's like a piece sticking over the foot. And do one like that. Quite a few going like sideways. You just want to get that sort of like crossing over effect. Grass is never just like all in one direction, so. And then I'm just going to do this, this little strand. Coming up there. And this little one. And this little one. I'll just do a few here. Adding some in at the front here. And then carry on. Just finishing off this edge. And I'm going to bring some more down here. Start doing some this way. Piece there. always just concentrate the grass to like the front bit there. Let's just dab away that base a tiny bit. Let's see, I might add some behind it but I'll just try that for now. And then um, there's not a lot of grass around here on the picture but I kind of I might add a bit more so it looks a bit more dense.
And I might just blend a little bit more nougat down. Kind of like finish off that foot. Blend it into the grass. of just the bits of grass at the front. Just gonna get rid of that base a little bit more. Okie dokie. And now what I'm gonna do is use the nougat again and there's like a really dark shadow underneath the rabbit around here. So I'm just gonna start bringing that nougat down to those strands of grass. Going around each strand. And just add a little bit more to the end of that foot there. And then I'm going to use the burnt umber to sort of darken that up a little bit. around here going around those blades of grass just gonna blend a bit up more nougat here. And then I'm just going to use the dark sepia and just darken that up even more to create a bit more depth in that shadow. down in the direction of the fur to sort of like blend it all together. And just going this way, just to fill in any gaps.
going around those little bits of grass. Blending it back up into that fur. And a bit more nougat just to soften it up a tad. I might just add a little bit more pressure just to darken it up with the dark sepia. Sorry if you couldn't see my pencil then. Try not to hold it too close. Just creating a little bit more depth. I might just add a little bit more in here as well. In this bit of the tad. Right, I'm gonna go back in with the earth green yellowish and just start to add a little bit more definition sort of like fill in any gaps in the grass And these a bit more. Bringing it down a bit more at the bottom. Okay, that's a nice base now to add a little bit more detail on top. So next I'm going to use permanent green olive and I'm going to start just adding some more definition to these pieces of grass. I'm sort of just going around this. And just add in a bit more definition.
and just start going over these little pieces. Just starting to darken them up. And some sideways. And I might just soften that bottom bit up a tad more. I want to concentrate most of like the darker bits to like the back area nearer the rabbit. Doing some little tiny bits just there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Doing my little pointy shapes as I bring it down. So I'm just overlapping slowly building up these darker bits. I am leaving some lighter bits to add a bit more interest. Just 
sort of like fade it out a bit with the eraser. Maybe add a little bit more of that earth green yellowish just to bend it down a bit. Oh my cat! Might even do a few lighter bits by just using the Tombow eraser to lift a little bit of the colour off. a little bit more of that earth green yellowish. And then back to the permanent green olive, I'm just going to add a few little bits around this front bit. Right, now I'm going to start using another darker green. I'm going to use chrome oxide green and I'm just going to start Tighten it up again. Just little bits. I don't want to make it too dark. some round here. Some bits around here. Again, I'm also just concentrating it sort of nearer the bunny. Add a little bit on that piece. And a bit more of the permanent green olive. I'm just going to add a bit more of that in there. Just blending it together a tad. And 
and add a few more bits with that around here. more around here and again if there's any bits that could do with lightening up you can just use the Tombow razor and just add a few lighter strands And I think we need a little bit of like a brownie colour in there. So every now and then there's some like little like brownie bits sticking up. So like here, there's like a little brown bit. So I'm going to use raw umber. And I'm just going to start adding them in. Just to create a little bit more interest. Let's do some little tiny brown bits. Just like the odd little bit throughout. Like a little bit here. And then I'm going to use the burnt umber just to darken those up a tiny bit in places. And I might just blend a little bit more down from the top. To create a bit more definition around these pieces of grass. Then I'm just going to use the dark sepia just to add a little bit more definition around here and I'm also just going to add a few little bits through that grass, just really tiny little bits just to add a slight bit more interest.
might just add a bit more earth green yellowish in there. A little bit more dark sepia around here. And I'm going to add a bit more of the chrome oxide green, just for some detail. too much I might just use the slice tool to pick out some lighter bits just to add a little bit more dimension back in there out some little highlight bits just creates a bit more interest rather than like all the grass being like the same colour and I'm just gonna go back over those light bits with a bit of the earth green yellowish just so that they're not too bright Is there any little bits that are like stuck on it? And I'm just going to use the putty eraser just to sort of fade out that bottom bit a little bit more. And I'm just going to go in with the dark sepia and just sort of like go around some of these light bits a tiny bit make them stand out a little bit more. A little bit higher 
and I'm just going to add a little bit of olive green yellowish here just make that less white bit of permanent green olive I'm just going to add a little bit more And I'm going to add a bit more dark sepia, just on that piece of grass there. And I'm just going to define it a bit more around here. Add a tiny bit of dark sepia around here, and a little bit just there. And I might just add a few more little lighter bits back in with the Tombow eraser. I feel like this almost works a bit better than the slice tool on this. And I'm just going to add a bit more permanent green olive and I'm just going to darken up some of these back pieces of grass a little bit more. I think it looks good. I might just tidy up with the eraser a little bit. Let's get rid of that base colour that I don't really need. And I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to see how it looks as a whole. Right, so that's how it's looking. I think I'm just going to add a few more little bits of grass coming this way. So back to the earth green yellowish. Just going to Add a few more little pieces. And I might add a couple of little ones here. Makes it a bit of a nicer shape. Tiny 
tidy up a bit more. Might just bring a few more bits down at the front. And let's see, I need to add the little whiskers in here, don't I? So, I don't think I'm going to use a slice tool because they're quite like blurred and out of focus. I think I might try using some white, we'll see how that goes. And we need to do the whisker here. So I'm going to try drawing it in with the buff titanium. I'm not going to use the white because it often goes a bit like cold grey looking and I don't think that would look right on this drawing. So I'm hoping the buff titanium might work. So I'm just going to bring it down. Little whisker there. And here. And they're quite out of focus on the picture, so it doesn't really matter too much. Little one there. Uh, big one there. And they're very subtle, but you can just about see them. I mean, you can try the white if you want. I just always find it looks a bit weird. Let's try it. To lighten them up a little bit. So I'm going over and lighten it up a bit. nice it's very subtle I like that you can only just really see it um, and I might darken up that piece of grass in the bunny's mouth a little bit let's use some of the chrome oxide green just gonna darken that up a tad and might just add a little bit more of the permanent green olive just into some of the bits of grass around here. And I'll add a little bit more through here. Just a little bit more. That bit's too light. much nearly done with that. I might just tidy up some of these hairs a little bit with the eraser so that they're not too strong and then I might just use a little bit of nougat and add some more little thin hairs coming off that top bit. And I might just add a few here. And I'm just going to use a bit of burnt umber just to bring this fur down a little bit more here and here. Just add a bit over that shadow. So I think I'm going to leave it there for that tutorial so I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in the next one hopefully. I think I'm going to be doing a duckling in graphite so if that's of interest to you make sure you stick around and I will see you for that one. But till then, bye for now.